So today is a, a pretty big day for me. I am headed to the bank to make my final car payment. So what you just heard was a recording from October of 2018, and this was a big moment for me, and I know I wanted to document it. So today you're going to join me on my journey to make the final payment on this car. Hey, this is Chris. Hope you're doing well and welcome to Popcorn Finance, the show where we discuss finance and about the time it takes to make a bag of popcorn. I appreciate you joining me on this journey as I head out to pay off this car. (laughs) And all the audio you're going to hear today, I recorded while I was actually driving around to make this final payment. And I'm going to be popping in here and there from time to time to kind of give you some behind the scenes thoughts that were going through my mind and just some things that I've thought about it now that I've listened to this back after, you know, I don't know, several months since I actually made this final car payment, because this is something that I had been looking forward to for a very, very long time. I've never actually paid off a car before in my entire life. You know, I've sold cars that I was still making payments on. I've leased cars, but I've never actually bought one, made payments on it, and then completely (laughs) paid it off. So this is a pretty big moment for me. One of my goals that I set for myself was to pay off this car, and I'm excited that I'm finally able to reach it. You know, I had planned on continuing to make payments through the month of November, but I looked at the remaining balance. It was about $2,100, and I said, you know what? I want to just be done with this. So I looked at my savings account. I was like, I can pull that out of there and decided just to, to pay it off today. So that's what I'll be doing, and I'll just go ahead and, and share this, uh, this experience with all of you. As I'm listening back to this, it's making me think about a conversation that I had with Zay from at Debt Free and Fitness on Instagram, and he was telling me about how he and his wife, L took money from their home savings, so they were saving up to buy a house in order to pay off the last of their debt. And, you know, I took money from my emergency fund in order to make this final payment on this car. And for both of us, I noticed that the amount of interest that we were paying on the debt was higher than anything we could have gotten from a savings account. So mathematically, this made sense, but emotionally, it was difficult to part with this money because I think we both knew that getting rid of this debt was going to make us feel way better than any security or safety that we felt we got from having this money sitting in a bank account. So the car I'm going to pay off is a Prius. Uh, we bought it back in 2014 and we bought it brand new. This was this was before I was reformed and, and <laughs> found the value and uh, the wise money decision that it is to buy a used car. You know, at the time I was like, you know, I want to get something reliable for my wife. And, you know, I told myself all the stories as to why I had to buy a brand new car. And you know, I felt a lot of pressure, even though I'm pretty sure all of that was just in my head. I just felt like I wanted my family to think that I had made the right decision and you know, I wanted them to be impressed by my purchase and I wanted my wife to be happy. And in my mind, it was hard to find a reliable used car. It was just all these thoughts in my mind that really had me stuck in my mindset on buying a new car. Uh, so bought this car, been making payments on it. It was actually a six year loan. So we're gonna be paying it off about two years early. I'm really excited to be done with this and have this money back. And you know, in in the spirit of transparency, our loan payment was about $350 a month. Uh, so, I mean, to me, that's a lot of money, but <laughs> for some people it may not be, uh, but it'll be really nice just to have this back in my budget to do something else with, primarily to save. So what I did was actually cut my savings to zero for the past about, I don't know, five or six months in order to pay off this car because it was just something that I wanted to do. It was a goal I had for myself. And yeah, excited to be at this point where I can save again. So one thing logistically that I didn't think about is, all right, what's the best way to get my money from one bank to the next? Because the cash I have in a savings account is at a different bank than where I have my auto loan. I was going to get like a a personal check or maybe even like a cashier's check. And I thought, oh, they might put this on hold and throw off my whole plans of paying this car off today. So I made a quick call to the bank where I have the loan to see what the best way would be to pay this off. So of course they said they can't guarantee, but they won't put this check on hold. So it looks like I'll be getting cash and taking that with me. Makes me nervous having any amount of cash with me, but I want to get this paid off today. So that's, that's what I'll be doing. Here's a question I've always had. Why is it so hard to move money between bank accounts? I mean, it was 2018 when I recorded this. It's 2019 now. Not much has changed in that span of time. I just don't understand it. 
that's all I wanted to say. I really don't have anything insightful to say. I was just really annoyed. <laughs> all right, I just got the cash and I feel very vulnerable right now. I, uh, <laughs> I'm paranoid like someone's gonna rob me between the time it takes to get from one bank to the next, but I think I should be okay. I'm in a car. I think it's pretty hard to rob me in a car, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> this was another reason why I was annoyed. I had to go all the way to another bank, take out cash and bring it back to make my final payment. And I don't know about you, but carrying $2,000 worth of cash in my pocket does not make me feel exactly comfortable. I'm usually never carrying around more than like $5. So this was not an ideal situation, but I did manage to make it to the bank. And this is me getting back into my car after making this last payment. All right, so it is done. The car is uh, officially paid off. I walked into the bank. Let me walk you through this. I walked into the bank. There was only two people in line. I was like, oh, this should be great. I ended up standing in line for like 20 minutes because it took them forever. I was like, they don't want me to pay this car off. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to discourage me. But I hung in there. I persevered and I made the payment. The The teller that helped me is actually the guy who has been helping me for a long time now. He's He was like, you know, it's really cool to see you pay this off. He's been seeing me come in and make the extra payments uh, every couple of weeks. So really cool experience. I was going to ask him, hey, let's take a picture together to celebrate this moment. But I didn't want to be weird. This is still a bank. Um, I didn't know if he'd be like, no, sir, I can't come around to that side of the counter. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to make things awkward. So <laughs> I just said, thanks. We had a little conversation and, uh, yeah, then I'm, I'm back here out at the car. So really cool. Very excited to have this paid off. And I'm looking forward to having this money back because like I said, I had pretty much put my saving on pause so that way I can put all the extra money I had towards paying down this car. I was doing about $1,600 a month towards the car. So I was like being very aggressive with paying this thing down. So now I want to put that money back into the savings, kind of continue to build that up. And then uh, cost of living is very high out here in California and Southern California. And we've been living in a place with very low and I guess like affordable rent for the area. And I, I would like to have the option to have maybe a washer and dryer or or maybe air conditioning something like that would be nice i like that i have options now so uh i'm just i don't know i don't know what to say really excited and this is a, a really cool moment uh first time ever doing this i don't I actually don't really know what happens next I, I think i'm supposed to get like my pink slip in the mail something like that i'll google it tonight i'll <laughs> i'll figure it out because I've never done this before so it's always cool to have a new experience and yeah, then I can uh, I can let you all know what <laughs> what happens when you actually pay off a car. Okay, so I did figure it out, and here's how it went down. So for what felt like forever, nothing happened, but <laughs> it ended up being about one or two months. They actually just sent me the title in the mail, and that was it. I didn't have to do anything. So from what I hear in California, that's how it works. I guess it can vary from state to state, but for me, I didn't have to do anything. The bank notified the DMV of everything, and I got the paperwork in the mail, and it was crazy. It was very weird because, like I said, I've never done this before. And as you heard, for me, the biggest thing that I was looking forward to after doing this was the financial flexibility. And I gained that by reducing the amount of my expenses every month. And I didn't really realize how big of a deal this was until I saw how my finances changed. I had this extra money just sitting there to do whatever I wanted to do with. And for me, the big thing was I wanted to save more because I had to put a pause on my saving in order to make this happen and to pay off this car. And so I wanted to build that back up and we're looking for places to live. And it's nice just knowing I have this cushion to work with where I could up my budget a little bit more for living expenses without actually touching the amount that I would be normally saving. And that was a nice feeling. So yeah, now eight months later, roughly, I'm still enjoying not having this car payment. It's been really great. So I wanna hear from all of you. So whether you're working to pay off your car and you've almost made it, or you've recently done it and you're still on that car payoff high, <laughs> let me know. I'd love to hear from you. You can send me an email at questions at popcornfinance.com or you can go to popcornfinance.com slash voicemail directly from your phone and leave me a voice message or you can just click the link in the show notes and let me know how you're feeling, whether you're anxious to get there and make that final payment or you're just sitting there relaxed and enjoying all this extra money in your bank account. I'd love to hear from you. Or you can join me over on Instagram. That's where I spend a lot of my time. I'm at Popcorn Finance Podcast and I'd love to hear from you. So until then thanks for joining me for this i guess to go bag of popcorn <laughs> it's been great talking with you i hope you have an amazing rest of your week and i'll talk to you soon your boy keep it popping like mary poppins